Good afternoon. I hope everybody is well today. Today I've been thinking a lot about waiting. It seems like a lot of us are waiting for a lot of things to happen. Uh, people are waiting to hear what's going to happen with school in the fall. People are waiting uh, to hear um, what's going to happen uh, in your area with um, different restrictions. Uh, people are waiting because of jobs. Uh, but people are waiting for good things too. Some people I know are waiting for babies to be born and and others are waiting um, to move somewhere. Um, lots of waiting going on these days. Lots of people waited in the Bible. Uh, Mary waited when she was pregnant uh, to give birth to Jesus. And so did Elizabeth who waited years um, to have a child, I didn't think she was going to have a child. Jonah waited for a long time for God to destroy Nineveh, which God never did. Uh, Noah waited 40 days and 40 nights on the ark. Lots of waiting. Uh, people waited on the Lord and sometimes we don't always understand the Lord's time. Uh, but we wait. We wait with hope. So I have these words uh, from Psalm 130 that I wanted to share with you. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. And in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning. More than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plenteous redemption. Hopefully in this time of waiting, um, waiting to see if this pandemic is going to be over, waiting to see if we can change our society for the better in regard to racial justice, you know, waiting for those things like babies to be born and other things to happen. I hope in this time of waiting, you can wait on the Lord and hope in his word and find faith in that for each day. So on Thursdays, I usually share a song uh, or a hymn. And one of my favorite songs is Waiting on the World to Change. And I will share that song with you. I hope your day is good. I hope you're enjoying the weather. And please wait with hope and patience. Thank you.